Alright, what happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. And right now, I just want to know what happened with Alec. In the moment, it saved my life. But it seems my father meant for me to get the role eventually. It isn't hereditary. If we wanted an inbred monarchy, we could have left half our gene stock back home. Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. There's also the strange technology. Has anyone studied that? We've tried. Not me. The brains and research. They're supposed to know their business. The current excuse? The tech we dug up on Mars was more advanced, but it was plug and go. The tech here thinks different? I don't know. We've mostly avoided it. And from what the Hyperion logs say about Alec, maybe that's good. You've had no colony successes in over a year. How many tries is that? Less than you'd think. The Scourge, Spoiled Worlds, Exiles, Hostiles. We can't just plop down an outpost and expect picket fences. We need the Pathfinder and Sam to scout, evaluate, and inspire. The Initiative promised a goal. Andromeda has not cooperated. And if it had? Beautiful, utopian horseshit. Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus of Citadel. Not headed by Tan. Or even me. How do you fit into the Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited. As Tan is quick to remind me. Left a perfectly adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital, too. Only a new galaxy could pull me away. And here we are, idling. There must be some kind of plan for encountering hostile aliens. We can't have been that naive. We expected life, not an enemy that refuses to talk. They don't attack. They disinfect. We're nothing until we're bacteria. Sorry, 14 months and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it is. Not sure who started it, but we're calling them Ket. Kandros will know more. Maybe too much. You don't trust him? I trust him to defend us. I do not trust a rising military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. We came here to make history, Ryder. Not repeat it. Ugh, oh, goddamn poetry. You called my father Alec. No one does that. A lot of us joined the initiative because of his vision. What he shared of it, anyway. Were you friends? Or... I'm not your new mother, if that's what you're asking. Or his friend. He hated that I didn't use his title. But no one's a pathfinder until they've path-found something. Much like a colonial director without colonies. There's also the strange technology. Has anyone studied that? We've tried. Not me. The brains in research. They're supposed to know their business. The current excuse? The tech we dug up on Mars was more advanced, but it was plug and go. The tech here thinks different? I don't know. We've mostly avoided it. And from what the Hyperion logs say about Alec, maybe that's good. Excuse me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Ryder, we're starving here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Prove me wrong.
This is the planet where we landed. Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. I thought it didn't measure up as Pathfinder. Director Addison keeps her own counsel. I keep mine. And when you disagree? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the Scourge dealt us a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here, Eos. How? Oh. You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable. So how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... The way I see it, you need me. If I pull this off, maybe you'll look like the leader you pretend to be. But first, you have to succeed at being the Pathfinder you pretend to be. Where's my ship? They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. Ah. Something wrong? Ryder, can you see me and Sam Node on the Hyperion? Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No, I'm fine. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. Stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny, we had a lot of this happening. But not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. You know what they say. It's not paranoia. If someone is out to get to you, yeah. Third time this week. It's getting worse. First one was small stuff. This one could have hurt bad if I'd been closer. That's not good. Sorry, understatement. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. Whoever's doing this has to be stopped before someone gets seriously hurt. That's what I'm trying to do. But I'm an engineer, not a PI. I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of. But I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait! That's it! You can't possibly be involved in this. You weren't even here during the mutiny. Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me. If they start hitting critical systems. Sure thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one. That'd really help. I've sent the locations to your Omnitool. Just send me the data when you're done. Pathfinder, to cover their tracks, the saboteur is overloading power to this panel from another junction relay. 
You can scan and trace the connective wiring to locate the surrogate panel. Notice the hand of the hand. This is no ballistics. Are you surprised? There's also bird line in the feed bank. Nobody's making creep from an Andromeda. What am I You'd be surprised. I know that look. The others bent your ear, did they? Something like that? You get used to it. Just focus on being a Pathfinder. Can't argue with results, though they'll try. Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. This office fields militia work, Nexus security, and looking for the Turian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate the Natanus was destroyed, others that people are alive. Who knows? If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. What brought you out here to Andromeda? I was tired of being the good one. The good one? The Kandros family is old military. There were expectations, you know? Then my sister became a sculptor, and cousin Nyreen went pirate on Omega. Everyone was proud that I stayed in service. But I kept wondering, when do I get my adventure? Jen Garson's dream was so... Grand, so gutsy I had to be part of it. You talk like you weren't part of the leadership. How did you end up commanding the militia? I was escorting a prospecting team on some moon when those Ket found us. They penned us like cattle for experiments. I managed to get loose, snatched a gun, and freed the others. By the time we killed the bastards and headed back to war in the Nexus, everyone looked at me like I was in charge. That sounds familiar. The militia grew from there. Funny. Once the heat is on, all kinds of people rise to the top. Are the other Turians managing okay? So-so. We're not good at sitting around in a crisis. Service before self gets drummed into us at boot camp. That's probably why so many of us are in the militia. We like to earn our citizenship, whatever galaxy we're in. But it's hard to focus with our arc missing. It's rough out there. I might need backup, if you can spare the people. I have strike teams specializing in assault and extraction. If you need serious firepower, my Apex teams have you covered. In fact, I could give you authority to dispatch them. It'll cut down their response time. Thank you. Our current ops are on the terminal. See if there's anything that could use a shot where it counts. What do you know about the enemies we've encountered? The Ket? We usually see them on worlds with those alien structures. The Ket don't take kindly to anyone studying them. Not sure why. They don't talk to us. Every time we cross paths, there's a fight or they take prisoners. Why? What do they want? No one knows. But I've seen their weaponry and what they do to those prisoners. I want them a long, long way from the Nexus. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. What am I going to do? It's not right. It's not fair. What's wrong? Oh my, you're... So it's true. A Pathfinder has found us. There's hope at last. Maybe you could help. You're impartial. This whole thing has gotten so political. My husband, he's locked up and slated for exile for a crime he didn't commit. What exactly was he convicted of? They don't exile you for petty theft. Well, maybe this bunch would. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda, but the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have. There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Nilkin Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him, please. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the Jailer will allow you a visit. Please, tell Milken I love him. Tempest crew should report to the docking area at once.
Scan and trace the wiring to locate the panel that the saboteur used. Scanning power junction relays. This panel is malfunctioning. Without more data, I cannot determine if this is a normal malfunction or sabotage. I'll just disable power to the panel until Raj can check it out. idea as to who it might be? Yeah. All these panels were worked on by Zara. I just can't believe it. Security video logs confirm that Zara Kellis worked on these panels, as well as the one Raj Patil encountered. Well, shit. Any idea where she is now? Kellis is currently working on a panel on the Hyperion main deck. Hey there. You okay? Those guys really grilled you. And Addison. First Pathfinder they've seen in over a year. All she can do is question your competence? Yeah. Meeting Addison was... interesting. She doesn't know you. I do. And you're doing fine. I appreciate it. I worked out logistics with Director Tan. They're giving us a ship and crew. He said their best is taking care of it. I still need to head back to the Ark and check in with Sam. Sounds good. While you're there, maybe see how your sister's doing. Zara Kellis? Yes? I have evidence you've been sabotaging the Nexus. What? No, I'd never... I've been looking into this myself. I have the scans to prove it. Here. I'll transfer the scans I took to your Omnitool. Funny. Raj was investigating the same thing. And it led us to you. My scans point at Raj as the one. So unless someone was setting us both up, I just don't understand. The data Miss Callis has accumulated is strangely similar to Mr. Pattles. A third party seems likely. The real saboteur could be setting you both up. Because we both figured out something was going on? That would make sense. It's better than thinking Raj could have done this. But it means all the data I have is useless. 
Wish I had access to the security cams. I bet we could find something there. You stay put, so whoever did this doesn't realize we're onto them. I'll check out the security cams. Raj, you there? Yes. How did it go? Is it... Is it really her? Wasn't her. She had proof pointing at you. I figure someone's been messing with you both. Just keep a low profile and don't talk to anyone. I'm on it. This file is useless. Let's check another. And another scrambled file. Coins. Let's check another. This file is also corrupted. Someone working for Kandros, maybe. That is the most probable scenario. Think you can get enough out of the files to find a match using biometric scans, Sam? The files were badly scrambled, but if I combine all the available identifiers, it might work. Based on the limited information available, we are looking for a human male, assigned either to the Nexus or Hyperion. You will need to conduct scans from close proximity. Got it. Biometrics do not match. Inaccurate match. This person is not a match. Scan result. Dale Atkins, right? We need to talk. Look, not to be rude, but I have work to do. Is that what sabotage is called these days? Work? You're pretty arrogant for the new kid. You don't even know what's been going on. Proof says you've been up to no good. Figures. Screw this. Screw all you hypocrites on this station. You weren't here when they kicked out our loved ones. Mutiny? We just wanted answers. My sister is out there. I don't even know if she's alive or... I'm sorry for what happened, but setting explosives isn't the answer. Neither was sending people into exile because they didn't agree with policy. <sighs> I don't care what you think. The mutiny leaders were right to demand to know what was going on. You could have hurt people, killed them. Like those who got killed when the leadership had the Krogan stomp on my friends? I'm done talking. I confess, it was me. Do whatever you want. We can't let you stay on board. There's no saying what else you're capable of. Wait, you... you'd let me go? If you call exile letting you go, sure. 
You leave, and you don't come back. I'll leave. Help you? Pathfinder Rider, here to see Nilkan Rensis. Ah, our murderer. Wife's here all the time. Guess she told you her sob story. Nilkan, you're moving up in the world. There's a Pathfinder wanted to chat with you. The Pathfinder, huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. Your wife's all broken up over this. She says you didn't do it, and that she loves you. She's a wonderful person. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. Why don't you tell me what happened? I was part of the futile effort to set up a colony on Eos. We were on our last legs, overrun by hostiles, our leader dead. The security chief, Reynolds, my friend, he refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. Everyone saw. Last I checked, getting into a spat wasn't against the law. There's more. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. 
We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement, thought it was the cat, and... I... I guess I panicked and fired. A witness saw the chief's chest explode. I'm so sorry, that's awful. We were close. He was a stubborn son of a... I admire that about him. But I was enraged when we argued. There's a recording. It's, it's ugly. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. Don't throw in the towel yet. I'll review the evidence. Maybe I can find something that'll help. That would be great. You're a Pathfinder. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. Maybe there's still hope. No news on the Turian Ark yet? Or is this militia business? I spoke with Nilkin Rensis, the man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. I wish it had been our last. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. It doesn't seem right to put all that on him. Of course it isn't, but that's the perception. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. And you assume he's lying? What's a lie to a murderer? Look, knock yourself out. A key witness, Cassidy Shaw, works in operations. Go ahead and talk to her. And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you cue it up on the console there. As far as I'm concerned, this case is closed. Bye, Kendros. Duty calls. You and me... The Nexus versus Colonist Milken, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! They seized the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Milken. We're taking it back. No! I'm not letting your ego get us killed! Even if I have to... No! Get him off me! Get him off me! Cassidy Shaw? I'm Ryder. I'm looking into the Nilkin murder case. Oh man, I thought that was over with. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was gonna kill him. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the Chief. He looked right at Nilkin and shouted, No. Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was pure shock. Reynolds was leading you back to retake the compound. Did you agree with that? It wasn't my place to agree or disagree. He was ranking officer. In retrospect, it is ironic. If he hadn't been killed, we all probably would have died. Did you see any cat in the vicinity? Nilkin said so, but not that I could see. Still, the sandstorm was severe. Visibility wasn't great. Did Nilkin seem remorseful? I lost sight of Nilkin in the turmoil. When we found him, he seemed in shock. He couldn't speak. He looked nauseated. Could have been guilt. The reality of the act sinking in. If they'd fought and Nilkin threatened to kill him, why was Reynolds surprised? Friends fight, say things they don't mean, maybe even hurt each other. But you don't expect your best friend to shoot you. To me, that's the saddest part. The Chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. I appreciate the information. Of course. It kills me we had to leave him behind. He deserved a proper funeral. 
So the body was never examined? Important piece of a murder investigation. Tan wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Said it was too dangerous. Writer, you may have a less than flattering view of me, but I want to express my condolences for your father. I appreciate it. I didn't know him very well, although I understand he played a key role in planning the initiative. I'm sure he'd be concerned that we still have several arcs missing. Any idea where they went? Nothing certain, but tens of thousands of colonists are unaccounted for. It paints the initiative in an unflattering light. Did you have some other business? I'm looking into the Nilk and Rensis murder charge. And? I want to go to Eos and retrieve Chief Reynolds' body. That isn't usually Pathfinder business. First murder in Andromeda, and I'm impartial. Figured you'd want to get it right. Settling an outpost comes first. But I suppose I have no objections. Physical evidence will only bolster the case. I'm hoping it proves something else happened. This case has been a political nightmare. With all we've been through, the people need stability. I hope anything you find reaffirms what's been done, but if it sheds a different light, we'll deal with it. We'll send the coordinates of the murder scene. Good luck. Any more information you can give me on the missing arcs? No. And that is the distressing part. The Asari, Turian, and Salarian Arcs are completely unaccounted for. If they had the same problems with the Scourge that we did, I fear the worst. Should you find any clues, please investigate. Without the other Arcs, the promise of the Initiative can never be fulfilled. Are there any other Arcs we should expect? We had hoped Quarians would be part of the first wave. But before departure in 2185, we got word they had technical problems with their ship. It seems they're also bringing along Drell, Hanar, and other species as well. Managing all of their biological needs caused complications. We won't see them for some time to come. What more can you tell me about the initiative? It represents the greatest migration ever attempted. No one had ventured beyond the Milky Way before. We've all left home in search of freedom, fortune, perhaps a new beginning. We are the bravest souls each species has to offer. I hope the Nexus will serve as the seat of government for us all. What do you know about the early days of the Initiative? As most everyone knows, Jean Garson's vision made it happen. She was an entrepreneur on Earth. Wealthy. Young for a human. Carson had the idea for the initiative in the early 2170s, I believe. Many thought leaving the Milky Way was impossible. But she persevered. And as with most great ideas, the doubters were wrong. Why do you think most people came? There are thousands of reasons. One for every colonist here. What does any pilgrim seek? Usually, happiness. Finding the thing that eludes them the thing to fulfill them. While we cannot promise they will find it, we can facilitate the search. It looks like a melting pot around here. The Nexus is home to several initiative species. Many came ahead of the Arcs. The hope is that this station will one day serve as the governing body in Andromeda. Though I'm not sure what they were thinking, lumping Krogan into the mix. As a Salarian, my kind tend to have a low opinion of them. Nothing I've seen here has changed that. Why don't you like the Krogan? It's common knowledge that they are a violent, ignorant species. Long ago, they waged nuclear war on one another. Their planet was decimated. My people tried to uplift them. But the Krogan could never tame their worst instincts. What if they bring their tempers to Andromeda? We'll all be dead.
As director of the initiative, are you in charge around here or what? If the others would allow me, they don't see me as the rightful successor. What's their problem with you? I am not Gian Garson. Our founder was charismatic, eccentric, larger than life. Traits I cannot hope to mimic. She and her inner circle perished in the scourge, some at the hands of the exiles, some never made it out of stasis. I was deputy assistant for revenue management, then all seven leaders above me died. I was next in line for the role. So, you're an accountant? Don't let that fool you. We are all capable of more than we know. When I was young, I was fascinated by the idea of exploring space. Life had its detours and I went a different direction. Then I heard about the initiative and saw my chance to try the path not taken. While I may not be setting foot on new worlds, my authority can ensure that you do. Right. Sorry. So how does anything get done? In theory, Kesh handles the Nexus's physical operations, Kandros runs the militia, and Addison manages colonial affairs. I oversee all of it. In practice, we argue, debate, and yell at each other until a decision is made. If we're lucky. It is maddening. It sounds like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. Publicly? I would say we're more than up for the challenge. Privately, I can tell you, it's been a disaster. The Scourge killed hundreds, many of them our senior leadership. Even the founder of the initiative, G.N. Garson, is dead. How did Gene Garson die? With the rest of the leadership. When the Nexus hit the Scourge, a large wing of stasis pods was destroyed. They were killed instantly. These people traveled 600 years and died before they even woke up. Jean Garson never glimpsed Helios. She never saw her vision realized. Kandris mentioned something about hitting the Scourge. How did it play out? Criminal elements took advantage of the emergency and preyed on people's fears. An uprising followed. We had no choice but to turn to the Krogan to deal with them. They crushed the mutiny and the criminals were banished. Exiles, we called them. I doubt we've heard the last of them. They're led by an outlaw, Sloane Kelly. She used to be one of ours. Who is this Sloane Kelly? She was head of security on the Nexus. She opposed the uprising at first, but eventually turned traitor and joined them. Misguided sympathy for the plight of the common citizen? Nonsense. They posed a direct threat to our existence. There don't seem to be many Krogan around. Good riddance. The Krogan demanded a greater say in political matters. The last place you want them involved? Their muscle, nothing more. Good for fighting and lifting heavy objects. When they didn't get what they wanted, they left. What do I need to consider in making a planet viable? Assuming the planet supports life, an outpost is critical. People like a roof over their heads, and you'll want to eliminate any hostile threats. Whether that's the cat or other terrors lurking in Helios, colonists being murdered on sight can be discouraging. Also, scouting and mapping terrain is a priority for any Pathfinder. And don't forget forward stations. You'll want those. What can you tell me about forward stations? I was afraid you'd ask. It's mostly what the engineers tell me. A forward station allows mining, equipment repairs, and resupply for field teams. I mean, who wouldn't want that? But seeing as how every colonization effort has failed, it's just theory at the moment. 
you get to test it out, Ryder. That's all. Thanks for your time. Of course. As you pointed out, we need each other. Our futures depend on each other's success. Something you want, Ryder? You'll have to see. Or oxygen. You must be the Pathfinder. Wonderful. You and your Sam are exactly what we need. Thanks, Mr. Professor Herrick. My colleagues and I will work with your Sam and the data you gather to solve Andromeda's scientific mysteries. I'm usually out in the field, but I wouldn't mind talking shop, uh, lab, you know. You are always welcome. Not that we've had much to study with everyone cooped up for 14 months. But your data on the Scourge flows like poetry. Now we can better advise on repairing the damage it caused. And maybe Addison will give us a real workspace. Who can think with all this racket? There you are. Hope the others haven't been giving you a hard time. There's a lot that needs doing. At least with the Hyperion hooked up and feeding us power, my team and I can get more work done. What kind of work do you do as superintendent? I was part of the team that originally designed and built this place. I keep the station functional, or as functional as possible, considering. What sort of problems have you seen on the Nexus? Situations gone to shit pretty much sums it up. There's arcs missing. Some idiots tried to mutiny and take over, then more idiots offended my clan, so they left. And to top it all off, the founder of the initiative, Jean Garson, was killed. What happened to Jean Garson? Killed in the Scourge disaster. Her and a bunch of the other leaders. Tan might know more. And I thought the Hyperion had it bad when we arrived. Anything else? The outposts aren't happening because we don't have resources or people, so Addison's more uptight than ever. And let's not forget how badly the station was damaged on arrival. But that's a detail, according to some. My team and I are repairing what we can. If we don't get materials soon, things will go downhill. Fast. I noticed there aren't a lot of Krogan around. Tan. Ask him why most of my people left. He'll have opinions. I can tell you this much. When the mutiny happened, a deal was made. My clan were supposed to settle matters and, in return, get more say in the initiative. Did the deal go through? The clan held up their part, but Tan had a meltdown when he found out we wanted more say around here. Then Addison's assistant, Spender, pretended he never made the deal in the first place. It was a mess, but I don't blame my people for walking out. 
we're done being used. With your clan gone, why did you stay? It's complicated. The station and my clan both need me here. When we left the Milky Way, the Krogan were still dealing with the Genophage. Right. The Genophage. A little gift to our people from the Salarians thousands of years ago. That sterility virus they infected us with left most of our children stillborn. Only one in a thousand survive. No wonder your people have such a problem with Salarians. Some wounds never heal. Not that my ancestors didn't provoke it. They did try to conquer the galaxy. The Salarians were forced to respond. And it's not fair to blame it all on them, either. The Salarians developed the virus, but it was the Turians who deployed it. I'm hoping that's all in the past. Plenty of blame to go around, but Andromeda is about new beginnings. My people need that more than most. What about the Krogan here in Andromeda? There's no cure for it. But my clan was starting to show mutation against the virus. A natural defense. During the trip to get here, Krogan underwent gene therapies to enhance the mutation while we were in stasis. So you used those 600 years to your advantage. Gave the adaptation more time to develop. Yeah. It's still early, but I think we made a dent. Our scientists say we've improved viability to almost 4% which is a lot better than what we had. Beyond all the statistics, it means more Krogan children will live. It's the only way my people have a future out here. Nothing more for now. Try not to die out there. My crew's working on it. We've moved the op center to the top of our priority. Hello, I'm Gian Garson, founder of the Initiative. It's through your hard work that the vision of the Nexus has come to life. You and all your colleagues bind our proud new colonies together. Look around at your achievements. And if you have any questions, my door is always open. Founder Garson's office is located at workspace not allocated. Please select a topic.
I'll make it right, Dash. Pathfinder, I'm Nigel McCoy. Just got out of cryo. Welcome to Andromeda, Nigel. Thank you. It's bittersweet, though. My little brother Dash was stationed on the Nexus. I just learned he died on Eos, trying to start a settlement. That's awful. I'm sorry, Nigel. Yeah. We were gonna start families out here together. I have a pendant our father wore. Dash had its match. Will you... reunite them? Of course. In his digital journal, he mentioned a spot on Eos where he'd go to think. If you could leave the pendant there. Ryder. Hayes, how's the wound? Doc says I'll live. So this goes from a life-threatening gunshot to a story I'll tell my grandkids someday. With no need to exaggerate. That was a tough fight on Habitat 7. <laughs> Just glad to be on the other side of it.
Hello Ryder, welcome back to Samnode. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. Sam, if we're going to work together, you can't keep hiding things from me. Apologies. I am simply following your father's wishes. What was he keeping secret? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's... me, now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique, tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. So what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. That's... pretty amazing. But beyond what many people will accept, your father knew some would fear it. Yeah, he's got a point. So what does this mean for the two of us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. Call her the Tempest.
Let's go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. Yeah. Let's go see the rest of Helios. Hold it, hold it! You're not going anywhere. Damn it. Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest's supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with the family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential, but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. <sighs> Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. Everything state-of-the-art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Plus her crew, of course. The best in their field. Ah, glad to see you looking well. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. <sighs> it's really gonna be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Better head to the we bridge when we're ready to go. We call this the research room. You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. Some serious kills. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jaff. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, 
but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. Plenty of dangers out there, but I'll do my best to avoid them. That's reassuring. Wouldn't want to lose my finest work to that angry cloud. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. We were all expecting a golden world. Now there's just a long road ahead. But hold on to that dream. It might see us through. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest, Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. To Eos, then. What would have been our Habitat 1? Two failed outposts put an end to that idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callow, take us in. This is about as far as the Nexus surveyors could get before... well... Let's see what's waiting here. Anomaly detected. Probe away. Probe away. Probes launched. Deploying probe. Probes launched. Anomaly detected. Flying probe. System, Pythias. Andromeda Initiative Habitat 1. Designated Eos. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of Eos. Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find... ...and out.
Suiting up. Ready, Freddy. Hope we're all that ready. Callow, all right? Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multisensory neural collation. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. What? I said a lot of people have their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. I can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Oh, sorry. You okay? I think I'm still messed up by what happened with my dad. There hasn't been much time to process it. No. I mean, I think I'm still feeling it. Like... Hearing things. Other than Sam. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. Core is hot. Shields holding, adjusting entry. We got this, right? Set us down at this nav point. How to even start? Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the Scourge. Structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we get a line on that signal. They must have known these wouldn't last in these conditions. But they didn't have a pathfinder. They do now. We'll make Eos home. This analysis provides us with important research data, Pathfinder. If you continue to scan and collect this data, we can utilize it to develop new technologies and upgrades for equipment, such as your weapons and armor. Got a code lock key. Gives us access if we need it. It's inoperable, Pathfinder. Too long in this environment without power. We didn't expect this kind of environment. Who could?
Another code. We suffered like we half already our death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. Main door had power, but not the interior doors? Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power, too. The logs might tell us what's up with the power relay. I got a partial log, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. Sandstorm. So we're not the only ones interested in what happened here. Let's check out this relay tower. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos's atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts, to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside... It looks like salvage. New. Days ago, new. Who else is here? I'm off. That ship wasn't kept then. They don't knock. There are people here? We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. I'm not a salvager. I'm a pathfinder. We've come to fix all this. Call me Clancy. Pathfinder, huh? Like that changes much. The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the Ket. You're crazy. Though maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. Expect trouble when we start the generators. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location.
Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? Hey, Pathfinder. Really, Ryder? Generator interface possible. Location marked. That should let us restore power at the relay building. Up and running. locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. You took down all those cat? Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. I'll take another look around the outpost. Just finding it won't be enough. Hope you're smarter than we were. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Go on. We'll take it from here. I guess Crazy Blue has to buy her parts from someone else. Power restored. We should have access to everything in Site-1 now, right, Sam? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site-1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right it's worth investigating. Here, here. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site-1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. Well, what do you know? The Outpost Research Center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here, too. We're not scavenging anymore. This is how we rebuild. Someone else agrees. This research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal. This gives us the tools to find the source. And maybe whoever else is looking. Research station is back online. I've provided a list of where we can build by gathering the required components.
Special requisition, all-terrain scout rover. A Nomad, six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. The initiative only built a few. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Activating automated forward station deployment. Looks like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code. Alright, I have to get ready for work, but I will continue this at a later date. <laughs> Appreciate everybody tuning in.